Hello, my name is Ian McCall and this is one of the short uh, video teaching recordings on the Demoscopy Made Simple website. Today we're going to talk about Kittlerian terminology. Harold Kittler really has rationalized the way we look at dermatologic uh, images by getting rid of metaphorical terms and simply describing the structures that you see under the dermatoscope as lines, circles, clods, dots, pseudopods, and structureless. Now these structures are illustrated below, and this diagram is courtesy of Dr. Cliff Rosendahl, or perhaps his daughter, I've never found out. Let's look at lines. There are a variety of lines. The classic one that you're going to see are the lines reticular. And these are made up uh, basically by the distribution of uh, melanin at the dermoepidermal junction, either uh, as a thick line on the ridges when you're looking down vertically, or as a thin line at the tops of the dermal papillae. And it gives this net-like structure. So you have lines reticular. The other lines that you'll see are lines branched. These don't intersect, but come off each other. Thirdly, there are lines curved. We'll go into what each of these uh, represents later in other short uh, video broadcasts. Then, lines parallel. You'll see lines parallel, particularly on the palms of the hands and on the soles of the feet. And this is related to the layout of the dermatoglyphics in these areas. So these are our, are our lines. Lines reticular, lines branched, lines curved, lines parallel, and lastly, lines radial. And lines radial can either be um, coming out in a vertical fashion like this, or coming in to a point. When lines radial come into a point, it's part of uh, uh, basal cell skin cancer. Harold also looks at clods. Clods are these structures here varying sizes of uh, globules in the skin. Then there are dots. <coughs> then there are circles. Circles can be joined or can be separate from each other. And lastly, there are structureless areas. These are areas without any obvious structure within them. And they can be of different colors. They can be white. They can be pink. And sometimes they can just be black without any structure. And lastly, we have pseudopods. Pseudopods are also lines radial, but they have a small knob on the end of them. And we'll go into pseudopods later. So these are the structures that you're going to look for when you look at a dermatoscopic image, if you're going to use Kittlerian ter terminology. Let's show you an example of what I mean. This is a dermatoscopic image of a basal cell skin cancer. Now, look, using the old metaphorical terms, these structures here were supposed to represent leaf-like structures. These structures here, coming into a point, were supposed to be spoke wheels. And these dark blue structures here were supposed to be blue ovoid nests. Well, I must admit, I always had trouble with blue ovoid nests. The others I could sometimes see, but really it just depends on uh, what trees you happen to have in your area as to whether you think these look like leaf-like structures or not. And spoke wheels, well, I haven't seen a horse and carriage for a while um, to actually see spoke wheels, but I suppose spoke wheels are uh, the same as in bicycles. I'm being a bit harsh. Let's go and look at the same image now and have it... Uh, tabulated with Kittlerian terminology. These were our spoke wheels, and these are in fact lines radial, but coming in and meeting at a point. So lines radial meeting at a point. Our ovoid nests become blue clods, and they can take varying sizes. You have in fact got some little grey dots in this area here too that I haven't marked. Here You've got a pink structureless area. Here at 
the outside of this, you've in fact got some lines reticula, net-like structure. But that uh, is just part of the surrounding skin in this person. It's not part of this particular lesion. Up here, what was previously called maple leaves or uh, leaf-like structures, they're basically structureless brown peripheral. So, I think you'll agree that it's much easier to talk of things in these terms than to use metaphorical terms like this. So essentially, the Kittler method simply describes things as lines, circles, dots, clods, pseudopods, and structureless. It can be applied to both pigmented and non-pigmented skin tumors. And the great thing about the Kittler method uh, when you apply his algorithm is that there's no initial decision taking Ray whether the lesion is melanocytic versus non-melanocytic and this is very important because if you go down the wrong line early and make the wrong call then you're certainly not going to arrive at the diagnosis so I strongly advise you to uh, learn a bit more about the Kittler method and we'll do that in one of our further uh, video broadcasts Thank you very much.